just a quick video about a fridge with a with a problem a whirlpool's air diffuser problem if you hear that clicking sound in your fridge there's a quick fix on it if you hear this noise but once you open the fridge it's much louder since it's inside you hear that clicking noise so there's an air diffuser in there that goes bad and it starts clicking it just goes open and slams against it pretty annoying and I see that a lot of problems online uh, people having and uh, we'll see if we can change this whole unit and the problem gets solved so there's a cover that goes here and then there's another cover that goes here there's the uh, filter uh, air filter that goes here uh, right right about here and uh, to take that off and this whole unit off you gotta take out the filter and there's a screw right behind there and if you see that yeah right there and once you open that and then the plastic unit comes out and the whole piece comes out and this just gets uh, you just open this uh, harness here and then you pull this out and you would see that's where the air comes from the freezer the cold air and this is the diffuser part of it and there's a flap here and I'll show you I took this apart earlier so this is this is actually the bad part something gets worn in here and it starts flapping like this so it makes this noise I think there should be a padding here but I don't know maybe that's just so let's see if we can exchange this with a newer one so this is the new this is the new unit here I got this uh, online some places were selling it for around uh, 75 80 bucks or so but I got lucky I think I got it on eBay I believe so or I forgot where but I got it for like 36 bucks um, let's see so basically we want to get this back in here actually it'll go it'll go inside like this and so I'm, I'm gonna use both of my hands and I'll show you once it's done so but it'll get it'll basically go in here and then this part will go in there and it will plug it in and we'll put the rest of the stuff uh, back on and then I'll show you all of that okay I got this in there and this doesn't go that deep it just goes right about there and this is snug in there and we just got to take the screw off and put the other stuff and then connect this so this piece goes on next and this is where the screw goes And that screw is a quarter inch. And that same size screw goes over here, it's a quarter inch. So I'll show you that. This is done. We'll put this back on here, the filter. And that gets closed like that. And then we'll put this piece and show you that. So the plug is connected and I can hear the door, the diffuser door open up. So there's cold air coming in. So once it reaches the temperature, it'll close supposedly. Let's see. What I'll do is I'll run the fridge overnight and see if it fixed the problem. Then I'll just show that next. So the last part would be putting this cover back on here which goes in something like this like that and this screw it's a quarter inch will go right through here into there okay here goes uh, this thing is all put together that thing's good this thing is good I don't hear any clicking noise till now the door is open so once the thermostat 
knows uh, when to close it. We'll see if that comes back, but I'll watch it overnight and show that to you tomorrow if there was any clicking noise. The model for this Whirlpool is right here. And this problem is just not for this model only. There's uh, a lot of these Whirlpools that have the similar setup and uh, there might be other fridges, other companies that might have different problems but this one's for the Whirlpool Gold and diffuser air problem fixed, hopefully. So it's been a day and I uh, just want to show you that everything was fixed up and I didn't get any noise last night none today, no clicking and food is nice and cold, good temperature and uh, it's working as it's supposed to be so it's a quick fix I don't know why this is such a problem for these uh, fridges it's a very common problem but if it happens to your fridge now you know how to do it and uh, that's good thanks